Hey everyone, it's Ivan with CapeAdger.com. Out here today, take a first look at some pretty cool stuff. Recently, kind of felt like Christmas. One of the things I got in was the Sentry Strap from Greg over at Neomag. Basically what it is, is a solution for essentially managing your sling on a rifle. Slings are awesome. They do a great job when we need them, but when you don't need them, pretty much a snag hazard whether it is storage in a vehicle, even just storing in your safe. So this is an attempt to solve that problem. How it works, over on this side, we have some rare earth magnets for the closure. And then to size it, we have Velcro and elastic through both pieces. So what we'll do first, get this guy on our handguard where we're gonna want it. I think with the elastic that's on here, probably fit pretty much any handguard. See how that works there. That should be good. Now we'll just put our sling in it. To use this guy, we'll go ahead and take our sling, fold it back on itself, kind of get wherever we want it. Nice and clean. So now we don't have our sling hanging out and when we want it, basically break free. That's pretty cool. Essentially kind of secures itself on its own magnet. Probably be playing with that some more in a minute. I now have this stuff. Something from SIG in a companion package from Black Point Tactical. But how do I get these boxes open? Fortunately, I have this guy. This was actually a gift. I was at TriggerCon 2019 and I met this gentleman named Nick, friend of the channel, and he said, hey, Really appreciate the content you do. I would like to get you a knife. I actually work at the Buck Factory over in Post Falls. And I'm like, oh man, that place is cool. I've actually taken my boys on a tour there. And I'm like, you don't need to do that though. And he's like, no, like I insist, I'd like to. And so this, probably the nicest pocket knife I've ever owned. Very grateful for it. Pretty cool SV30 steel, or S30V rather. I'm excited to put it in time with this. But here's what I have right here. Get these guys open and kind of go, damn that's sharp. Kind of go from there. Let's see. Oh, what a cute little box. What could be in here? Boom. This little guy right here, new 365 XL. Awesome. I actually saw this at uh, NRAM, the NRA annual meeting, but it was under embargo, so I couldn't say anything about it. I just got to see it and handle it, and I was like, that's really cool. Didn't get to shoot it. Fast forward TriggerCon 2019, got to put a few rounds through it. I was like, this is pretty neat. I'd like to spend more time with it. So now I have it. I don't really want to pocket carry this thing, so. Let's see what we got in this box from Black Point Tactical. It's a sweater. Probably don't get that reference. That's okay. Nice. So we have a looks like appendix in the waistband with Mag Caddy, and then also a strong side holster. So I'm gonna jam up some rounds. Got these guys right here, ASIM Precision. It is their 115 grain Barnes TAC XP hollow point solid copper, basically defensive loads. I'll probably end up carrying this pistol. Wanna make sure they work. So I'm gonna go ahead and jam up some rounds. Back here I have the Rune Nation Cold Start. We'll see how that works out for me. Here, three yards, Rune Nation cold start. One magazine of eight. I should have another magazine of eight, but I do not because 
I only have two magazines. Ideally, MAGA 8, MAGA 8, and then a full magazine. I have a MAGA 8 and then a MAGA 12. So I only have two magazines. Thank you, SIG. But I want to put one round into low probability, three into the circle, one in low, three in the circle, conduct reload, repeat the same thing. Pretty sure if you drop a shot, might be pass fail. I don't remember. Probably an impossible part time, but all right. Let's do this live and cold. Not my best work. 23.58. Definitely didn't pass that one. For whatever reason, it seems like for me, it was shooting low, or that was me anticipating recoil. Probably the case. But, whatever. As I mentioned, everything was kind of low except for that last one, because I was like, I know you're gonna go low. So I held my point of aim a little bit higher, probably anticipating recoil, as you probably saw. Um, yeah, that was my cold start though. This little guy, I don't know what happened with this little guy. I'm not sure, it, there was no light strike or anything like that. I think it didn't go back into battery. I don't know if I was riding the slide with my thumb, probably putting pressure on there, but. This is what it is. As far as this, accurate representation of me, not a ninja. I'm sure plenty of you guys can do better than this out on YouTube. I'm sure I'll see it in the comments. Good on you, bro. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and back up and put some more rounds on this thing, probably with a little bit of steel. Right here, I'm at 10 yards, have a reduced BC zone by TA targets. Let's do this. Get out of there. All right, we're gonna move back to 25, I guess. All right, here we are now at the 25. So, for me, I definitely have to earn it with uh, this little guy at the 25, but we'll go ahead and step back to the 50. Pretty sure that target's probably about a mile away. Definitely smaller than my front side post, but let's see what we get. I should probably just stop there, but. Try one more. Ah, just outside. Well, I look forward to definitely spending more time with this. I think it's a cool pistol, more capable than I am, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. One, magazine capacity. These are 12 round flush fit. They also make the 15 round. I think they're 10 round also, if you're in a crappy state. 
and yeah, look forward to getting more time with it. Since I'm here and, oh snap, I already have my target set up. Let's go ahead and do a little more shooting. Twenty nine point seven four. Always fun. Oh, look, my sling's not caught. Pretty cool. That right there wraps up my first look at some pretty cool stuff. At a later date, when I get more time with all of it, I'll bring you guys full individual reviews. If you like and appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, maybe picking up some KBAT targets, some stickers, or Ballistic Ink t-shirts over there. A number of different ways, all of them greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. My life